30 minute meal from the October issue of our magazine. It will turn any day into October Fest. It is a beautiful, simple, simple, simple meal that you can make in way under 30 minutes, actually. It is a quick potato, apple, and onion hash with lots of fresh thyme, salt, and pepper, and some big, beautiful knockwurst. These are all natural from my favorite smokehouse, Oscar's Hickory House in Warrensburg, New York. And once you heat them through in a little simmering water, you're then going to split them open like a book, like a Nicholas Sparks book, but not all the way across. You butterfly them and then put them onto a hot griddle, and that way, literally, the inside of the knockwurst and the casing on the outside both get super crispy and crunchy. I know. Delicious. So we'll let these guys crisp up, and then we'll flip them over. Now the hash, you parboil the potatoes so they brown very quickly. You brown the potatoes, then add your apples, onions, thyme, salt, and pepper. Last thing, when the hash is done, the apples are tender, you're going to cover that with some super sharp shredded cheddar cheese and then put a little loose foil tent over the top and let that just melt down over the sweet and savory hash. When we come back, I'll show you the big finish for this delicious meal. Hey kids, welcome back. This is a 30 minute meal from the October issue of our Everyday Magazine. I'm serving up our cheesy apple, onion, and potato hash for our uh, Oktoberfest any day meal. I'm going to top that off with our crispy inside and out knockwurst. Delicious, oh, I love this one. And this meal you can serve up breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's just potatoes, apples, and fresh, uh, fresh picked apples and onions all cooked together like hash style. A little salt, a little pepper, a little fresh thyme. Then you top it with a little sharp cheddar cheese, melt that down over the top right when you serve, and you make these guys crispy inside and out by heating them gently in simmering water, splitting them down the middle, but not all the way through, open them like a book, and then crisp up the knockwurst on a griddle pan just a couple minutes on each side. Then I like to top them with some nice grainy mustard, a little grainy Dijon, and a little grainy Dijon, and because it's savory and sweet, a tiny drizzle of honey over the top of that. 